Hello, my name is Ned, and in this video, we'll take a look at what's new inside Caspio version 12.0. The first feature that I'm excited to introduce is the all new SMS and email notifications via triggered actions. With this new capability, you can now further automate workflows and communication. For example, you could trigger an SMS message upon status change, or even send an email on specific data events or conditional logic. SMS and email notifications are part of the Triggered Actions feature, so please refer to our pricing page to see if it's available for your account. The second feature that I want to showcase is the Caspio Bridge REST API version 2. The new Swagger UI allows API developers to visualize and interact with Caspio Bridge REST API before you actually start customizing your applications. It allows us to see all the REST endpoints and provides a visual documentation about them such as description, parameters, and output schema. We've also made other enhancements to version 2 of the REST API, such as operations for files and deployment, and some changes to operation names. Let's take a closer look at each one of these new features. Here's an example of a service request form. I have a condition set to only send an SMS text and email if the request is approved. The form also has two cascading dropdowns that upon selection of a technician, it pulls their email address and phone number. Now let me show you how this trigger was configured to only send the SMS and email if the checkbox is checked. If you click on Actions, you'll notice that we have introduced two new choices, one to send an email and one to send an SMS. I have already configured both and will give you a quick walkthrough. First thing I did was move over the SMS action and I used the gear icon to include the select statement so that I can grab the data from the inserted table of service requests. Then I used the where clause to only send an SMS when the checkbox is checked. Lastly, I used the phone number field for the to section and at the end, all I did was customize my SMS message that's being sent out. Here you can also include parameters if you wish to call out certain data entries. The email is actually set up almost the same exact way. The only difference here is that we have to change the to field to the email and include both the subject and the from email address. It's also worth mentioning that you can send an email that contains plain text or you can switch to HTML if you wish to further customize the body of your email using HTML code. When you're done setting up your trigger, go back to your form, check the box and click submit. Now both the email and SMS will be sent simultaneously. You can't see my phone, but I just received the text message and here's the email that just arrived. Now let's take a look at a brief demo of the Swagger UI. Swagger UI is a very popular testing and documentation tool for API developers. Swagger UI makes it easy to learn new APIs and it has the ability to auto-generate documentation of an API and provides an interactive collapse and expand console. Once you have properly authorized your connection via a bearer token, you will have the ability to run different types of requests. We could get information. For example, here we have the ability to get the list of all of our Caspio tables. We could post information to our Caspio account. We could also run a delete request along with many other types of requests. Let me give you a quick example of how I can execute the request to get all the available tables from my account. I'll try it out, click on execute, and in the response body you will be able to see a list of all of the Caspio tables. It's really that easy. Best practice to learn and test Caspio's REST API is with a copy of your tables so that you can explore the various API options available to you without affecting your live data. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to read the release notes for more details on these features and many other smaller enhancements included in this release, plus step-by-step -step instructions on howto.caspio.com.